Okay, now we're going to do some bow polishing. Now I want to give you some pointers before, before you start. One thing is, if you're going to use a buff, always use the same buff with the same grit. You, you don't want to use a, a, uh, a cutting, really heavy duty uh, polishing compound and then go to your fine grit. You, you, you could take these and wash them off but that really won't do you any good. If you're, uh, if you're doing fine finish then just keep the same type fine finish. You don't have to keep the same exact one. Well, what we have here is an air compressor driven, let me see, see if I can do this one handed. This was originally designed for doing wheels like uh, mag wheels which I won't do and you take this and push it in and then you go <laughs> damn you know that would make a great sex t I mean marital aid <laughs> just, just kidding that's another uh, that's, <laughs> that's another movie okay so what we want to do is remember if you put it on the surface it's going to create friction that's really what we want to do is we want to take the regular scratches we want to melt them together so they make a perfectly um, a perfect sheen and what you want to do is you want to start with one small area and do just a little bit of it always keep your buff moving Let's see if I can I can put this down and do it I don't know if I can I'll try I don't know if, uh, if you can see that that well you want to shake up whatever polish you're using because your polish all, all your solids are always settled in the bottom so you want to put just a little on so you don't make a, a you know a terrible mess you know to start out with until you know what you're doing all polishes are different all air temperature and everything are different so it will depend on on that how much you do it then what you want to have is you want to have a nice clean cloth that doesn't have any other type of polish on it. So what I want to do is I want to go just nice and easily <laughs> You want to stay off the edges. Remember to stay off the edges, you'll burn right through. That edge or this edge, that's not an edge, but you want to go until <laughs> and then when you think you've got some of it done, if you've never done this, you know, you want to practice at it. There's, there's no school that shows you how to do this. Okay? Now, I'm sorry I didn't get a good uh, view on that. But then what you want to do is you want to come back after you buff, buffed it a little bit. And remember that after we do the buffing, in order to keep the polish, we're going to use a wax to keep the luster. This is ice, synthetic liquid polish, whatever that means. So, you want to get your flat spots first which are your your large panels if you've never done this before you do not want to start on a car. A car is different because a car if you fuck up on a car and you burn through an edge right here on a fender or a, or a hood then you got a whole lot of redoing to do so if you don't know what you're doing remember everyone starts somewhere and they gotta practice now let's let's see what this looks like let's see if we can see the reflection now remember when we started what it was like and then of course you want to look at it and you can you can get it as nice as you want the 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 real way to tell if is if you can look and you can see um, uh, my old fat face looking at you in perfect um, reflection then you know you're you're pretty close so I'll do the the buffing on all of the areas that I can get around here I'll, I'll do over here to about down to there. All this will be done by hand in here. You don't have to use 
a, a, a buffer on the tough tough spots you want to be careful of this edge because you're going to be see you're going to be taking that, that that polisher and going like this you see and it's going to be bam 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 taking that off you don't want to do that now before uh, uh, the one thing I haven't done I forgot I forgot to get these edges with 2000 grit and so that's what I'm going to do and then I will keep going and attempting to get the rest of this so let me get the 2000 grit on those edges and the rest of it's done and then what you want to do is you want to um, you only want to wet sand if you're doing polishing that's on cars or whatever you want wet sanding is uh, it's cleaner it's more accurate it, uh, it produces less scratches and it provides a better finish but you cannot use wet sanding on bare wood it'll soak it up and ruin it but you can already see the shine that's starting to come through and I will just shine this up really well and then I'll wax it to keep that shine and then of course if there's a problem I can always redo it so we'll continue with the Damon Howitt Super Bowl polishing because I love to do little fine finish work and it's, it's great practice for me alright thanks for watching we continue